Hi there, I just wanted to run through some of the new features that we've put in Merge Wizard version 2.4. Um, they're largely based around the updated Amazon content policy around the uh, youth um, shirts and uh, profanity and uh, things that are inappropriate to put on a uh, youth size shirt. Um, so we've added some stuff to Merch Wizard uh, to make it super easy to uh, find your designs and go through them, uh, the ones that you have. Uh, that are uh, available in new size and then it's up to you if you want to take a view to um, to remove those and potentially relist them um, as uh, zero for fit type so yeah you can uh, you can, I've got a copy of the content of the update from uh, Amazon on screen now but I'm sure you've read that already in your dashboards so if we have a look at Merch Wizard now so if I go on here and have a look. So here's our typical uh, Merch Wizard screen, but if we go into advanced search now, we've got some additional functionality over here to say I actually want to filter by fit types and we can put in multiple of these and you can type in here and pick that one. Okay, so actually we're only interested in youth shirts at the moment, so we can just do a search for those as they are. Or if we said you know what, actually I think we've got some uh, Halloween shirts, let's say, that we think might be a bit dodgy. We can look at them on here and we can uh, see the, the tiny previews or we can select through and see the bigger previews on here. And let's for argument's sake say that these are inappropriate for youth shirts. Well, you you can edit on here, but that edit you can't change the fit types. So the other thing we've added here is the ability to remove the product via the um, Merch by Amazon Manage page. So, you know, don't want to add into Merch Wizard the ability to delete products. It's uh, obviously scary, and that takes the, uh, the, thing, the level of trust needed onto a whole new level. So instead, what we do is uh, open up your Manage page with that. Uh, design or those designs selected. So um, I open these two up here. Uh, it doesn't delete them at this point, it just literally takes you to your manage page with that uh, design on there. And then you can go ahead and say, right, actually, I want to delete that one. Yes, I do. And um, this one shows twice because we have a, a shirt that's got the, uh, the same title within it. Um, but yeah, that's the, the basic update on that. And then what you could do is, because you've got all your listing data in here, um, when you want to relist and say, I just want to do that for men and women, um, that you would then just use the Merch Wizard listing functionality um, and go ahead and, and list that straight up. So you can search that way. Um, and there is also another way to search. Uh, if you come into uh, Airtable itself, you can go ahead and create a gallery view uh, this gallery view is a gallery of all the products that we've got uh, but I want to put in a filter on here and say right I want to add a filter where fit types has any of youth in there and again we can have a look at this it might be slightly easier to see in this view than in the other one and you can click on them and go through like this uh, just come through them uh, but you have to kind of get rid of them you need to find that on your manage page and you can do that easily in here with just the clicking of that that button's also on here if you do know you've got a certain uh, niche or certain things that you would just feel more comfortable getting rid of uh, you can delete them um, through the link from here Okay, hopefully that explains the update in 2.4. Again, no template update required, so it's just uh, kind of bonus functionality that we're adding on. So I hope you enjoy that. Okay, thanks. Bye.